hello so in this video we'll be seeing about the snapshot practicals for snapshot get into data production snapshot iq and so here you'll be seeing the snapshot options so first one is snapshot it will show the snapshots available so right now we have two snapshots these are the fs analyst job snapshot and the other one is the sync iq um, replication snapshot so the sync iq replication of uh, snapshot is nothing but the one that we created on the sync iq uh, while creating the uh, sync iq policy so so differentiate so to differentiate the snapshot of a normal folder and the sync iq is that it will show for sync iq as siq in uh, in the naming convention so by that you will be able to find uh, the snapshots that are dedicated for the sync iq coming down you have the snapshot alias so now in this practice what we'll do is that we'll try to create a snapshot and we'll delete one particular file and we'll recreate that particular file so when you want to create a snapshot on the live so you can use this option create a snapshot so in this option you can create a snapshot on the go so if you want to set up a alias name just create that and give the path and the expiration date so this expiration date is nothing but the uh, the date when the particular snapshot has to get expired so you can give the path and select the create snapshot option so that it will be created so now what we are going to you do is that we are going to create a snapshot schedule so with this option we will not be able to schedule a snapshot but we will be able to only uh, take a uh, snapshot on the go so here we have the uh, uh, options which are showing the saved snapshots as 2 and the snapshot spending to deletion is 0 and ls is 0 and the capacity used by the snapshot is 10 mb so both combines 10 mb now we will go and create a snapshot schedule so get into the snapshot schedule tab now you will see an option called create a schedule create that and just give this uh, name as test schedule and the naming pattern you can leave it as uh, as a default so it has a schedule name it will come and the duration and the um, the date and the timing of the snapshot taken now you can select this option for create the snapshot ls and if you don't want just leave it and select the path on the folder where you want to create the snapshot so now let's go ahead and create a snapshot on the test here and it will ask you for the snapshot expiration so now i'm going to give the snapshot expiration as six days so at end of sixth day this particular snapshot will get deleted automatically and schedule so on daily schedule i want to take a snapshot and this snapshot will run every every day at 12 pm create a schedule so we have created the schedule so now uh, as this schedule will take time to create the snapshot so we will for now we will go ahead and create a snapshot on live on the folder test share so test share i am just creating a snapshot and i'll give it as a never expire so this snapshot is never going to expire and it will be there uh, till this um, cluster is decomped create snapshot so now we can see the snapshot has been taken on this particular time and the expiration is never so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to delete a file inside the test um, in the test share folder so in the inside the test share folder there is a folder named test folder and there are two files now the backup has been taken for this share now let's delete the file too and try to restore that and refresh so there are several ways that you can restore a file so the way um, the one option is that using GUI uh, directly you can go ahead and, and click on more restore snapshot 
so the one problem on this particular method is that when you try to restore using this option to restore snapshot this will restore the entire folder of the uh, snapshot taken so you will not be able to restore one particular file using this method so uh, when you want to restore one particular file or folder always prefer the other methods not th this method so now we will go for the next method so next method is simple then you will need to right click on the folder and check for the previous version in the properties section so here you can see there are two snapshots available so now I will go with the snapshot and open it so it has two files file 1 and file 2 now what I am going to do is that I am going to restore this particular um, file 2 so I will just copy it and I am just going to paste it on my original folder so this is my original folder I don't have the file 2 I am just pasting it so this is how you can restore the uh, deleted files on the uh, this method now we will see the other method of restoring it through the CLI so uh, again I am just going to delete the file one this time so the file one is deleted this method of snapshot is uh, restoring through the CLI so now we will open the CLI and for snapshot uh, there is a dedicated folder in the CLI so that particular location is um, ifs slash dot snapshot so this is the dedicated uh, so I'll go with the sudo cd okay so now so this is the folder that is dedicated for the snapshot so here we can see the snapshot that we saw on the CLM GUI the FS analyze snapshot the sync IQ and the snapshot that we took so now what we'll do is that we'll get into the snapshot CD sorry So here you can see the uh, data folder inside that you will have the test share oh, sorry inside data you will have the test share get into that and give ls so now you can see the folder named test folder get into that and ls you see the file file 1 and file 2 so now we need to restore file 1 to the original location so the original location is that now we will see that in ifs data test share and test folder so now ls we have only file 2 as file 1 has been deleted so if you check the uh, path of the uh, original directory and the snapshot directory there will be a folder in between uh, the ifs that dot snapshot for the snapshot location so now let's get into the snapshot folder and check that So this is a snapshot that we have to restore and inside that we have the test folder so now let's give pwd so here you can check compare the location of the normal original location i mean the path and the snapshot path so in between we have dot snapshot and the snapshot name and then the data test share test folder so now we will use the copy command to copy the file from the snapshot to the uh, our original location so the command is cp the file to be restored 
file 1 and where do you want to restore to the original location test folder so now we have cp copy the file 1 from the snapshot location to the original location okay says test folder yeah now it's done so now let's check the uh, actual uh, folder and try to see if the file has been copied so here you can see file 1 and file 2 now let's confirm the same here on the test folder it's showing us file 1 and file 2 so both files has been uh, the file 1 has been restored so this is the um, these are the methods that you can restore the snapshots and it's always recommended to go with a CLI when you have a snapshot ratio to be a huge uh, number of files and folders uh, because you know when you are uh, doing it on the windows the using the previous version option then uh, copying a file or folder would take a huge amount of time and when you are going with the CLI it just takes uh, minutes to copy a huge number of files compared to the windows uh, copy so it's always uh, recommended to go with the CLI option for restore and now we will see the snapshot schedule as we have taken the snapshot schedule as test schedule so here you can see the pending snapshots so the next run so when this snapshot is going to run uh, and you can see the date and on every uh, night going 12 pm it takes a snapshot so here you can see the um, schedules that are pending to be taken and coming to the settings part here you can see the settings which shows uh, snapshot file system settings so you need to enable the service of the snapshot and the auto create snapshot and auto delete snapshot should be enabled so that uh, whenever the expiration time has reached the isolon itself will del delete the um, uh, old snapshots and it auto creates the new snapshots and here you can see the visibility settings so all these settings are by default given access because whenever uh, the user tries to restore the snapshot by himself then he should be able to access the previous version so that you need to grant permission for uh, for him using these controls so always these settings to be enabled so we will see few comments on the uh, CLI so on the CLI is the snapshot list will show you the list of snapshots available so in our case we can see the sync IQ the FS analyze and the snapshot that we took here and then is the snapshot create so he can you can create the snapshot using the name just give the name as test one and you need to give the path I'll give slash IFS slash data and it will ask you for expiry date and give the expiry date and create it so I have just created with the default data now let's see the snapshot list so here you can see the snapshot test one has been created so if you want to check the details of the snapshot snapshot view and just give the id as 18 this particular snapshot's id 18 i have given that so it will show the details of the snapshot so when it is expired when it is created and what is alias name it has lock or not it has schedule so everything it will show you and if you want to check the snapshots schedules schedule list it will show you the list of schedules so the test schedule that we created it's showing here and then snapshot modify if you want to modify the snapshot so you just you can modify that using this option and then is a snapshot and if you want to view the snapshots or list it will list that 
so all these snapshots have been created here are listing here and and delete snapshot list snapshot logs and settings so with the settings you can go ahead and change the settings like uh, creating the service you know uh, I mean uh, um, auto create service has no auto, auto delete has no all those things you can change it here so these are some advanced settings and the service shows as s and auto create and auto delete as, uh, as well as s and that's it for this lecture we'll see on the next lecture